Good morning, fellow cyclists. Dr. Vince Marcella down here in Mission uh, Beach, down here in San Diego. And just wanted to go ahead and talk a couple minutes about Bragg's Apple Cider Vinegar. Uh, Bragg's Apple Cider Vinegar, B-R-A-G-G-S. Uh, they uh, are the only apple cider vinegar that I know that talks about intestinal health. And when you're riding, you're taking more oxygen out of your digestive tract and putting it into your legs, which gen then just goes ahead and changes the normal flora of the digestive tract. And if our digestive tract has any type of dysbiosis, um, meaning that if we have any flatulence, if we notice that our stools are a regular shape, uh, softness, or having constipation, those are all signs of dysbiosis. And so you hear a lot of people talking about probiotics. The Bragg's apple cider vinegar is really more of a prebiotic, really helping the body build its own probiotics, building and establishing and helping the normal flora of the digestive tract to work to its best, and the first stage being inside the mouth. Uh, we know this when somebody has, unfortunately, has a heart attack, he or she's been given a pill called nitroglycerin, and they put it in their mouth, and that nitroglycerin works in within seconds. Uh, it's a neurosubligal response. So when using Bragg's apple cider vinegar on a regular basis, uh, before you eat and before you snack, uh, it helps you with your digestive process. It allows the brain to better process our carbohydrates, our proteins, and our fats. So with that neurosublingual response, it's helping the body process the food, breaking it down, absorbing the nutrients, especially phosphorus out of our salads and our proteins a little bit better to help balance the calcium levels. Um, I hear a lot of people having osteoporosis issues. We can talk about that more at a later time. But when on the bike, I really got going ahead and using, depending on your weight factor, anywhere from a teaspoon to a tablespoon in a bottle of water. So I'll sometimes carry two to three bottles on my bike, depending on the length of the ride that I'm going. And we'll have, uh, in my bottle, I go ahead and have uh, one tablespoon uh, per bottle, and that's just by itself. And I'm just constantly toning the sublingual glands. We all know this when we start riding, we start to notice our mouth begins to pucker up and it begins to get this nasty, slimy taste. And that's just the gastrointestinal and the blood working and causing a really blah. And so the apple cider vinegar just sort of gives a refreshing uh, refreshness to the mouth and it helps us process while we have this. Uh, uh, helping stabilizing the digestive tract and what it does it also makes sure that we are lowering our lactate threshold meaning that as we're working sometimes uh, cranking up a hill working in an anaerobic situation it really helps the body decrease the amount of lactic acid building up because you're allowing for better oxygenation by decreasing the candida levels inside the blood so that's dr vince's tip with the Bragg's apple cider vinegar here in Mission Bay, California. Hopefully uh, that was helpful. Follow us uh, if you have any questions. Uh, you can go ahead and email us at uh, info at infinitybikeseat.com or just follow us and uh, post any comments that you have on the Infinity Bike Seat page. All right, thanks for joining us. Cheers.